Hey there, guys. I'm Sean, and today I will give you a tutorial about how to navigate in the ROS file system. So let's move into the second tutorial. And at the very beginning, we need to、uh, install the、uh, ROS tutorial. So let's enter sudo app get install ROS kinetic ROS. Tutorials. Well, after we finish uh, installing, uh, the first command we need to learn today is the ROS pack. The ROS pack is、uh, can help you to get information about the packages. So if we use ROS pack, fine. And with the package name, let's say ROS CPP,、uh, it will return the path of these packages. Well. The next command is the ROS CD. The ROS CD can help us to move to the directory of these packages. So that's ROS CD, ROS CPP, and here we go. We are at this directory, and you will see these two are the same. And if we use、uh, pwd command, which means print working directory, it will show the same thing, obviously. Okay. Let's move it on. Let's scroll and scroll down here. Rustless. So,、uh, what is the rustless? The rustless can、uh, help us to list、uh, the things inside these packages without moving up to these packages. So, what that means? Well,、uh, in old way, the first thing we're gonna do is to move this directory, and here we are already at the Rust VPN, and we list. We can see the things here, but if we are、uh, if we add our home directory,、uh, and we want to list, well, it will show different things because it, the list is only shows the things inside the current directory. So now, what if I wanted to only list it, this thing, but without moving on to these packages, we have to use ROS list. So ROS list ROS CPP, and here we go. We have this. That's pretty good. So the last thing I'm gonna show you guys is the ROS tab completion. So let's、uh, clear. And so if we, if I wanted to move to the ROS、uh, tutor, CPP tutorial, let's say ROS CD, ROS CD, ROS tutorial. That's what I really learned before to use Rust CD, but so let's back to our home territory. In and in this time, I use Rust CD, and I'm not going to、uh, enter the full name of our package name, and I hit the the tab key twice. It will list the all package name which start with the Rust CPP. So、uh, if I enter the underline T and hit the tab key twice again. It will only show these two because the only these two、uh, package name are start with the ROS CPP underline T. So if I enter one more、uh, U and I hit the tab just one time, and it will help me to auto complete the package name because the ROS CPP tutorial is the only one package to start with the ROS CPP T U. So that's Well, let's move to this directory. Well,、um, uh, that's the everything about this tutorial, and I I think I hope you learn a lot. And in the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to create and build the ROS packages. See you next time. Peace.